at 6, we take another look beyond the podium to help you learn about the City of Mobile's mayoral candidates. Tonight, we sit down with incumbent Mayor Sandy Stimson. NBC 15's Laura Barcheski shows us why Mayor Stimson is hoping the citizens of Mobile will trust him with another term. Mayor Sandy Stimson has been in office for the last seven and a half years, and he says he's not done yet. There are projects he wants to complete and even more he wants to work on. Incumbent Mayor Sandy Stimson says he is a native Mobilian. He graduated from the University of Alabama and came right back to Mobile to work at his family's lumber manufacturing business. Probably 40 years and then decided, um, felt really a calling to get involved with city government, specifically being the mayor, and ran, and I was able to win. Mayor Stimson says if re-elected, he hopes to continue working on his vision for the city of Mobile. At the very beginning, our slogan, it was just a campaign slogan, but it's something that we adopted really as the vision, and that was to create one Mobile to become a safer, more business and family-friendly city. Focusing on crime, yeah. There was at one point where you were hoping Mobile would be the safest city by 2020. Mm -hmm. We've had, yeah. you know, an increase in violent crimes yeah. recently. Yeah. What are you hoping to do if reelected to curb some of that crime and make people feel more safe? I would like to think that the majority of the things that we do could ultimately help curb crime. With the, the amount of money we invest in, in parks and recreation, you know, trying to give things for our young people to do. From the policing standpoint, we've made a pledge early on that we were going to invest in our first responders. And by that, I mean we were going to give them the tools, the equipment, the training that they needed to get the job done. Stimson says another part of his plan is watching out for the health of Mobilians. As we continue to see widespread COVID transmission, he continues to urge people to get vaccinated. The people today that have not gotten the vaccine, the trigger for them is going to be seeing something or experiencing something that they haven't experienced. And that may be a loved one getting you know, deathly ill. There was a disconnect at the beginning um, yeah. between the health department, your office, and that was surrounding testing and yeah. the closure of businesses. Yeah. How has that improved? At the beginning, it was we weren't sure whose turf the other one was actually on. But we pretty much know where the guardrails are now. Stimson says he's not done yet and wants to have a chance to deliver on promises he's made to improve the city and help residents. We're getting more buy-in, more collaboration as we go along, which means to me, that you can go in an accelerated rate. So the things that we hope to change in the future, I think that we can build upon the lessons that have been learned and uh, do a better job going forward. And the future for Mobile has never been brighter. You can see this full interview along with Mayor Sandy Stimson's plans for improving the infrastructure in Mobile on our website, mynbc15.com. Tomorrow, you'll hear from the final candidate on the ticket, Michael Young.